Um, I'm very upset at what I just saw. I'm kind of shook by it. And we're going to get into it. And I'm going to do it as I take off my makeup because I don't feel like being in the gig. Okay. I just saw... Deaf Noodles, which I don't dislike him. I just have feelings toward him, but I don't dislike him, whatever. I always see... The, I like to think that he's a good person. I like to think that, right? I don't have any ill will. There's some issues that maybe I'd like to talk to him about. Maybe an apology or just whatever, but whatever. But he literally, Deaf Noodles, called Papa Gut a pedo. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, here we go again with like false uh, assault accusations. We got famous on TikTok for joking about being 14 year old oh. girls, then gets offended. Um, someone jokes about him, but you know he was right. I shouldn't have said, I have should have said he makes himself so small in his videos to hide the fact that he looks like a pedophile. This is pretty bad. Um, so <laughs> this is going to make you look really bad for you in your lawsuit against keemstar mostly because um he called you a pedophile without any actual evidence and this is what you're doing to me right now what's so really interesting is that this is two things for one i've already deeply explained the context of this to deaf noodles personally we had a live conversation about this and he's also tweeting this that i made an inappropriate joke which i consistently keep saying was an inappropriate joke regardless of the context but this was the joke. The joke was if she's old enough to bleed. And he literally, for what he did, he duetted it. What is it called? What is that called? And with that being said, I'm like, really? You're going to call Papa Gut a pedo? Like Papa Gut, the guy who enters. For, first of all, anytime there is a bear pageant and they're say, they say there's like 10 or 20 bears who enter the pageant to win the $5,000 and whatever the cash prize is. If they see Papa Gut on the list, they drop out of the pageant. So, I just feel like Deaf Noodles is just jealous that Papa Gut wins all the bear pageants. Papa Gut literally can, can go to every bear pageant and just win, 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 win the house. Anyways, I don't know if it's jealousy or whatever, but what I think it is jealousy. I'll say it because, I'll say this, all jokes aside, right? Papa Gut lately has been, the videos have just been... I mean, he's had some big names in there, controversial names in there, and he's in there. He's in there. Papa Gut speaks so eloquently. He speaks very well. And with that being said, I think that Def Noodles feels a little intimidated by Papa Gut and was like, I'm just going to call him a pedo. It's still out there. But when people called Def Noodles a pedo, oh, he was all upset. He's going to sue Keemstar. And people were like, yeah, we're behind you. That's messed up. But then you go and do that to Papa Gut, people aren't going to feel, they don't feel sorry for you anymore. Like you don't just go around calling people a pedo because you think that they're competition. Now, I don't need to defend Papa Gut because he can defend himself. Okay? With that, I'm just being honest. But with, damn it. But with that being said, let me like spray this on taking this off with that being said i think it's sad i think it's so sad that here we are th this is where we're at where you just like oh i don't like this person i'm gonna pedo um and then people can argue that if it wasn't for deaf noodles nobody would know who papa gut is like Oh, yeah, so you're sitting up there, you're making Papa Gut videos, you're titling Papa Gut's vi titles for his videos. If he wasn't for Deaf Noodles, we wouldn't know who Papa Gut is at all. People would have found Papa Gut's channel. It puts in the work on, like, some uh, Deaf Noodles. Deaf Noodles, you know, they call him Deformation Noodles because he gets the T wrong sometimes. And, you know, it's just like he does stuff that I think I'm like, all right, cool. But then, he, he, it's like, just don't call people pedos, especially Papa Gut. And here's the thing, right? Here's Because here's, I've been on the internet for over 10 years. I've been doing this for a long time. Let me tell you what. There are people on the internet who will get up there and be like, well, you know, I don't know if Papa Gut's a pedo or not, but I don't think that that's nice that he said, like, all that stuff like that. Like, no, like, I have a good judge of character, and I don't think that Papa Gut is a pedo. 
But if it comes out that he is, I'll be sitting up here. I'm shocked he was a pedo. But some people are afraid to, to do that. They, these YouTubers, they like to just straddle the fence. Str Girl, have a backbone. Pick a side. That's it. It's over. It's not that hard. You take one crappier person, you take another crappier person, and you just, you just pick which one's the less crappier of a person, whatever. Okay. But Papa Gut, I think he's less crappier than Deaf Noodles, and I don't think that he should have been caught a pedo. Uh, Papa Gut said he's not going to sue Deaf Noodles because, honestly, no one even believes Deaf Noodles anyway. You got to kind of, kind of, it's like, is there something wrong or something? You don't, I mean, and that's coming from me. Who clickbaits titles and stuff like that all the time. I mean, girl, that says a lot whenever Rich Lux comes for you the house. That says a lot. But, I don't know, I just, I kind of feel bad. Because I would hate that to happen to me. You know, and I understand that there's like misunderstandings online. And people twist things up. And maybe that's not how it went down. Or maybe that's how it went down. But that's not how I meant it to go down. And I apologize for like I understand all that, those variables. But... Def literally just freaking posted that Papa Gut's a pedo. And I'm sitting there and I'm like, you don't cross the line. Papa Gut ain't no damn pedo. And nobody can nobody cares. Like nobody nobody's like up in arms about it. Like it's almost like, oh well, you know. That's just deaf noodles, being deaf noodles. Calling people pedos. That's that's just what he does. And I, I just don't think it's right. And like I, like I said, I'm not here to defend Papa Gut. He can defend himself. But I just wanted to, like, make it a mark that here he is, Deaf Noodles, calling Papa Gut a pedo. And I'm just like, you know, and I'm pretty sure, like, look, listen, here's the thing, right? I'm pretty sure Papa Gut has his demons. I'm pretty sure Papa Gut uh, has his dirt or whatever. Or has skeletons in the closet. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure we all, we all do, right? But. You just don't do that. You just. First of all, you don't go online and call someone a pedo. You go to the police station. You do, you do all that over there. So. This. I mean, Papa Gut. Literally. Off the heels. Of Papa Gut finally getting a sponsor. One spot, the poor guy got one sponsor, and then you turn around and call him a pedo? You know he could lose his sponsorship for that? You know now whenever p brands want to maybe work with Papa Gut, they might find that and be like, oh, we don't want to, it's too controversial, we don't want that, and not even knowing the full T? By the way... You can use code LUX, adamneve.com. All right? This video is sponsored at the house by adamneve.com. Let me say that. Okay. Um, with free shipping, United States, and uh, in Canada. So, uh, yeah. Definitely check out adamneve.com. <laughs> but, I don't know. I just think it's sad. I just think that it shouldn't have gone there. Like, I understand, like, sometimes they be sit sitting on live streams and they, like, be shooting the breeze and... And they say, you know, talk about controversial things and stuff like that. Like, I totally get that. I, I totally get that. You know? But I just don't think it's right that Def called him that. And I don't think he'll get an apology from it. But that's just my two cents on that on that situation. I don't, I don't know. I just, wanted, I just wanted to say it. I don't think it's right. And I think that Def Noodle should give him an apology. But... Definitely was always apology to several people, and I think this was a hit piece. I think that there were they, I think that Def Noodles was coming after him because he feels threatened by Papa Gut. I feel that way in my. I truly, I truly feel that way. Okay, I'll let you guys go. I gotta, I gotta go. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. I love you so much.